All right, there's a great new feature that's been added to uh, Chrome, and more specifically, it's been released for public usage in Android Chrome version 61. So just very recently released. Uh, up until now, if I jump over the browser here using caniuse.com, uh, you can see the last couple versions of Chrome and the Android browser have had support for the web share API. Um, the difference is this little note right here. You can use it, but you have to apply for a key to be able to use it. So um, here's the GitHub repository for the Google Chrome origin trials. Uh, basically talking about how you can put a meta tag up inside here using a key that they provide you. It's perfectly free to uh, to get this thing, but you have to put this into the page to be able to use it. And here's the page where you sign up. I'll put both links to these two documents inside the comments for the video. Uh, basically it's free, you apply, you sign up, and then you can put this feature into your page. So the web sharing API um, here I've got uh, my web page running on localhost over HTTPS, which is a requirement for this. Uh, when I run the page and I click to try and fire it off, you can see it's not supported here, and that's because I don't have the key. Uh, I'm running on desktop version of Chrome. I don't have the key, so I can't do this. However, I do have a version of this. Um, here we go. Uh, this is screen capture from my Android phone running Android 61 on Android, uh, my Samsung S8. So you can see I'm opening up Chrome here, and then I click on this, uh, I refresh the page, click on here, and that brings up the share feature. And that's what it is that we're looking at today. That's the web share API, is the ability from within the browser to bring up the native sharing dialog for your uh, currently phone, but hopefully soon it'll be desktop as well. And uh, if this works out, so it's an unofficial API, you can see as it's noted here, it's an unofficial API. Chrome is the only one currently supporting it. Hopefully in the near future we'll see adoption by Firefox, Safari, Opera, and everybody can get on board, and Microsoft, so everybody can get on board and start using this. All right, let's look at, look at the code and see what we're doing here. So in my page, basic little bit of HTML, in my script tag, I'm listening for a click event, and then I'm running this function right here. Now, the reason I'm waiting for a click event is that's one of the requirements. You have to have some sort of user interaction. You can't just have the web page load and then it automatically try and share something in the background. The user has to click on something, typically, a share icon somewhere on your page. They click that. That is considered to be the user giving consent to bring up the share dialog. The web page also requires HTTPS. So I'm going to make another video about how you can run HTTPS for your local host so you'd be able to test this. Uh, it uses promises. If you don't know what promises are, I've got several videos about those. I'll provide a link to the first video in the playlist for promises in the notes as well. And once again, it has to be Android Chrome version 61 to be able to do this without having that key from Google Chrome. All right, so what are we doing inside here? Well, first of all, we're looking for a property called share. Inside the Navigator object, they've added a new thing called share, and this is actually a method. So we need to check and make sure that this is not undefined. That means that it does have support for it. Otherwise, this is my message here, navigator.share is not supported. This is the one that was being written out on the page in my browser. If I jump back into here, I refresh the page, click, yes, not supported, because I don't have that key. And that's fine. I'm just testing this on my phone right now. There are three parameters when it comes to sharing something. There is a title, there is some text, and there is a URL title you'd always put in there and then you want to have either text and or a URL. You can have one or you can have both. Um, you can have a URL inside the text if you want. Here is my object that I've defined. I said just title 
and text. TTL, getting the word sample, TXT, getting this string, and I'm passing this object to the share method. Now, because it's a promise, that means it has then methods as well as catch methods. So if this works, if this successfully brings up the dialog for sharing, this part will run and you'll get a console log message. I'm just doing a little uh, arrow function to write out to the console that yes, it worked. But I could do anything that I wanted inside of here. This can be any function whatsoever. Catch handles any errors. So if this failed for some reason, the catch will handle that. This is where you would handle if something went wrong. And that's it. That's all there is to the, uh, the web share API. You call the share method, and then you've got a, hey, it worked, and hey, it didn't. Put your functions inside there to do whatever it is that you want to do. The rest of it is up to the user. When you call share, that is what brought up that dialog. So just jumping back, play. There we go. So this dialog is being brought up because we called navigator.share. All right, so that's everything. Um, like I said, I'm going to be putting together a video to show you how you can configure MAMP uh, to run HTTPS for localhost, which is a requirement for this. I'm uh, also going to put the links to the Promises playlist so that you know how this then catch works if you're not sure of that. And I will add the links to those two Google Chrome page so you can sign up for a key if you want to. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.